Hi, so this is Edward again. Okay, so um, this video we're going to talk about the 201A Math Studies tip questions. Same as usual, because you know that the IB exam uh, for um, the school mock and also the IB uh, official exam is coming soon, right? So basically in this video, I'm going to walk you through all the uh, tip questions, okay? Uh, not all, most of the tip questions, okay? But uh, of course, you need to revise yourself, okay, with the other chapters as well. So you cannot just rely on my notes. So this is just some tip questions and refresh your uh, memories and concepts okay so let's go through the first question the first question I tip would be on Venn diagram okay so all the children plays at least one game uh, from, from a choice of FIFA and NBA so in this games you you must be familiar with yeah so because we have like new new FIFA right now okay but anyway so um, yeah it's a good game so 10 children play both sports right the number of children who play only FIFA is double the number of children who play only NBA okay so first uh, you get confused by this part right okay so first of all just need to know that um, we have 10 children play both sports right so whenever you see a Venn diagram F and N right here both means the overlap yeah so normally what I do is immediately write the number right here okay so it's 10 and then you look at the quite look at the sentence here the number of children who play only so underline only FIFA so which is right here so I will let this let's say this one uh, this is uh, FIFA right and double the number of the children who play NBA let's say if you let NBA the number here is uh, 5 double of that right so FIFA is more popular let's say than you have 10 yeah right here so if this is 2 then you have 4 so if I write X then here would be 2X Do you get that because we don't have a concrete number for NBA right here yeah so then you know that the X is a number of oh actually x is a number of children who play fifa okay so you cannot let x be the nba okay so this is more tricky so if f here is x then this one would be x over two yeah because uh, f is double the number of the children who play nba yeah so this question is a bit tricky because you need to uh write this one be x and this one is x over two yeah because let's say if um, FIFA is 10, then obviously the number of people who play NBA would be 5. You know that, right? Because it's double the number of children who play NBA. So after you get this idea, then you just need to solve for the number of children who play FIFA, right? Okay, so we have 100 children in the summer camp. So yeah, so uh, you just need to add all this up. X plus 10 plus X over 2 is equal to 100. Yeah, so you have 90 right here and x plus x over 2 so do, do you know how to solve this x plus x over 2 so then you just need to add 2 at the bottom and this add, add it on top right then you have 3x over 2 equals to 90 right so just multiply to the right hand side 180 3x and then x is 60 yeah so you know that the number of people playing fifa would be 60 so that's the trick so you can see that like for IB studies, uh, math studies, the questions is like harder right now. It's not just simply asking you to fill in the numbers, but they will add the algebra in it. So ask you to solve the X, yeah? So you need to be able to like solve all these questions by uh, following this technique, yeah? So you can revise this question at home if you don't understand that. So question two will be the uh, co coordinate geometry. So the, finding the slope and the equation of the line, right? So many students get this very confusing. So line X intersect the X axis at the point R. So this is the line, oh, this is the line X. So intersecting the X axis at the point R, right? And the Y axis at point Q. So we have the X, Y intercept. So all you need to know about the X intercept is that this is R and then the Y must be zero. And then for here, the X would be zero okay and we'll have we'll have the y value because that is the y intercept and x intercept right so ol ol uh, is the o actually ol is ox yeah because right here is x ox is three times the length of or so find the gradient of x so this actually many many students stuck at this question as well because normally what they how they find out the gradient is also it is always y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 but this time you're not even given the coordinate so how do you find the slope then so it's very so it's basically you need to understand the concept of the gradient so it's rise over run right 
So basically, it's vertical distance over the horizontal distance, right? So if that is three times of the OR, three over one, right? So let's say uh, you may be arguing like, oh, it may not be three and one here, right? It can be like different numbers. So let's say this is nine and this is three, right? So this is also three times. But if you're doing the same trick, nine over three, you get three, yeah? So three over one. So you know that the length, this, this one is three times of OR, and that means the slope is m is equal to 3. Okay, that is a very important technique that you need to know. And the point 0.35 lies on the line L, okay, line X, actually, line X. So we have 3,5 right here, right? Find the equation of the line L in the form of y equals mx plus c. So how do you find the uh, line L equation? y equals mx plus c, always, you always need to find the slope and also the point. So the point they're given, right? So it's 3,5. So y equals to mx plus c, just plug in all the numbers to find c, right? So y is 5 equals 3, x is 3, and then plus c. So c is equal to 5, so 3 times 3 is 9, 5 minus 9 is minus 4. So, okay, don't stop just here because you need to write the general form. y is equal to m, so write m, x, and then minus 4, yeah? So always remember when you write the equation don't plug in any value for x and y because that is the equation of the line uh, of the line right so you have many many x y right so keep x y as unknown so that's why you can form the line l yeah so that is for the part one video so i have more videos for part two okay so you can see that okay if you want to get access to the part two video you can go to the link below so i hope to see you in the next video